Hi, it's Tuesday, it's time for Pick of the Week. I'm Lady Lexi K, and this is my selection from the week ending the 20th of September. Not an awful lot in here this week. Um, the feeds were filled with a lot of meme stuff this week. It was difficult to find things. Also, um, most of the stuff that you're sending me uh, is not suitable for Pick of the Week because it contains copyright material, and I can't show that on my channel. So, um... Please try and send me your original stuff. That's that's the idea. Uh, you can use uh, the send to link here. Send me your things and um, maybe it will make it into pick of the week. But please don't send me stuff that's got copyright music or copyright characters in um, because I won't be showing it. Right. So we've got elements, art and sets, animations, games and things that don't fit into any of those. So we'll start off with the elements. And we have Carousel Horse by Dee Dee Alatri. Uh, we'll go into remix mode to have a look at this. Uh, he made it for the All Hallows Dreams room. Um, it doesn't look particularly Halloween-y this, so I don't know whether how, how this is going to be used in this scene to make it look spooky. Maybe a bit of lighting and stuff. That could be quite scary, I expect, in the dark. Uh, now, one thing that I have noticed about this particular prop is that it is not one prop. And... As you can see, the harness is separate, the horse is separate, his eyebrows are separate, the pole is separate. Uh, that makes it rather difficult um, for users to put this into their scene and move it around. Um, so um, I would recommend, if you're making an asset, make sure you scope in all of the parts to make it as one thing. So when you scope out fully and you pick it up, if it does this, then you've not done it right. You really need to make it as one thing. Uh, just for speed here, I'm going to group the whole thing, like that, there we go. Um, so, uh, this you could animate really easily using the action recorder, so we can get it so it's... Dun, da, dun, da, dun, da, dun, da, dun. There we go, try that. There we go. And there we have a spooky moving horse. Um, very easy to animate, <laughs> simply look at that. That's, that's fun. We have a lot of those on a carousel. Now, if I copy this entire thing and do this, I think... Yay! So really quickly, you can build up your own carousel. Look at that. That's really fun. Dun, da, dun, da, da. Though this is probably not the best way of animating these. I just wanted to see them moving. Right, there we go. Really nice. Beautiful carousel horse. Right, next one is a chandelier. Low thermo by Overlord V... Overlord 7. A beautiful chandelier with 2% thermo. No logic included. Okay, so let's have a look what we've got in here. Let's lift it up over the floor. Um, very nice. Nice metal looking with uh, candles in. And now they've used sculpts for the candle flames. A lot of people use um, a paint flex for candle flames but this is used a uh, sculpt it's, it's very effective it looks really nice uh, if you want to get an added effect um you could put down um a light like this um right how how far away do we want this light to reach sort of like that i think let's make it a bit more yellow Maybe a bit more red as well. There we go. And you can animate the the light itself. Um, hang on. I right. Whoops. I haven't turned on X-ray. That would help. <laughs> right. Okay. So stick down your action recorder. And you could do something like that. 
and I think you should be able to see you get like um, a flickering effect on the chandelier I haven't done that in the right position but you can sort of see it on the on the base here uh, you can get uh, a flickering and you can do the same with um, the the glow on your sculpt so if I open up um, that's grouped let's get into the flame Whoop. there's the flame there we go you could just change the glow like this so that it flickers you could even you know get it flickering on and off like this if you want to make it a spooky thing but but just a little bit of movement like this uh, you get a flickering effect and it, it can be very effective for candles so probably a lot of effort to go to to do to to make a nice candle effect but it depends on how uh, prominent it is in your scene and whether you want to make it look like it's flickering away really nice chandelier obviously it's gonna add to the thermo if you're gonna add animation and stuff to it but there we are right here is Frances without her mask um this is by Drew Mac 13 um I love this I thought this was very innovative um so here is Frances when she doesn't have her Francis mask on. There it is there, the Francis mask is on the floor. And she's actually this alien potato head person. Isn't that brilliant? It's just a simple idea and I love it. The, the backpack with, uh, with the imp in. Oh, it's so funny. I love it. Look at her. Gorgeous. Um... What would be nice if you could like like put the head on and off. That would be fun. Uh, maybe make a game where you know having the head on gives you advantages and disadvantages. So you have to keep taking the head off. That would be that would be good. I love this. Very innovative. Very nice. Right, art and set design now. So we start off with Seaside Altar by Helicosi. Um. They thought they'd practice better sculpting. Um, well, uh, practice makes perfect, and uh, this is a beautiful sculpt. I really also like the ident, the the way the name is drawn there. I think that's really nice. Uh, so it's a cathedral of sorts. Um, sort of like icing. And uh, it's called it a seaside altar because it has that sort of um, shell-like quality, I guess. But uh, lots of use of the mirror tool and the kaleidoscope tool to make this. Um, it's beautiful. It really is lovely. Good use of light. There's the window there. And we can go out and have a look at the sea. Look at the boat. Um... Come down here. It all changes all the colours and everything. I think this is really well done. This would make a really good um, hub for, say, a puzzle game. So you come down here, and then there's you know access to another room with a puzzle in, and then you come back out here, and then you go into a next puzzle room. This would work well, I think. It's very nice, beautifully sculpted. Our next one is Scout ACV, Ram Kiban Azuka. Um, right, the Dreams trailers. They were uh, they teased us in the Dreams trailers where four mm -hmm. Dreams came came out with some characters that we never saw again. Uh, they weren't part of Ed's Dream, um, Ed's Art's Dream, or Ed's Dream. <laughs> Might have been Ed's Dream, but anyway, they weren't part of Art's Dream. So um, maybe earlier versions oh. of uh, the robot in there. Uh, so here we have the Scout ACV. Um, this was the one that um, there was a, um, a like a futuristic set, and it it, it had um, it blew through a wall and stuff. If you remember the trailers, um, but we never saw this. It never it never cropped up. They've released it as a game or anything. 
It was obviously just on their alpha servers and uh, never made it into the actual game. But it's been lovingly recreated here and it looks amazing. So we've got lights that we can turn on. Uh, there's a launcher here. Uh, we could got scan. So that moves around. So let's put animations in. Uh, we've got Gatling guns. It's really, really cool. Scout, ACV, advanced compact vehicle, all terrain, armoured and equipped with heavy weapons. And that's the size of it compared to a human being. I think it is very, very good. I'll do it in Ramki Banazuka. I think that's a really great model and it looks amazing. The lighting and everything you've chosen here is really showing it off. Looks fantastic. I love the, the logo at the top left as well. Ramki Heavy Industries. Looks really cool. Alright, next one. Cityscape Chic by Nefrendel. Entry for the Future Fashion Community Jam. Um, concentrating more on the architecture than the fashion, but the fashion is also cool. Look at that. A bit saucy with the fishnet tights. But uh, doesn't all look all that comfortable to wear either. Very stiff skirt. But look at the look at the apartment. I mean the view out the window is amazing. Did a great job here. It's interesting they've gone with um, a paint effect here to make the glass of the windows. You can just about go outside and see. I think personally I would have left it so that they were open so you could see straight through but um, it's an effect. It's an effect. I like it. I think it's amazing. And if you go inside this little pod thing, there's a little house inside here. So there's a bedroom and a kitchen, a bathroom. And it's all beautifully done. Um, some of the sinks work. Look at the bread there. I like this little garden over here, it's quite nice. It just looks gorgeous in here. Very nice, very open, huge space. And then back out to the, the, the city, out the windows. I mean, you couldn't, I mean, you wouldn't live in a house where you had all this empty space here. <laughs> just to walk around it but maybe you would I don't know I feel you need like maybe a like a, a, a cart to go round and round and round in just to, because of all of the space anyway amazing very nice right next up we have animations let me just reset progress on this uh, this is the robot march by Chris three five four five five four three um I don't normally show full animations, but this is so short, I'm going to have to. Um, but please uh, view this in the Dreamiverse and thumb it up because I think it's worth it. Um, you can see all of the things that I've picked from my pick of the week in a collection available in the Dreamiverse. So you uh, don't have to hunt these things down. You can just find my collection and uh, play to your heart's content. Anyway, let's play the robot march. <laughs> Now I'm hoping that that is a cutscene to a game and that these little little robots are going to be featured in a game of sorts um, because that's very, very fun. I love it. Um, so I want to see a game with these little robots in and that's the cutscene start. <laughs> That'd be fun. Our next animation is by Kutianet. Tony's got a theory and Vince isn't having any of it. 
This Halloween short film was created from scratch in the week of September the 14th for the Dreams Have Meanings Weekly Challenge. So this was made in a week um, and it's great that you can make animations that quickly. So if you're a budding animator, Dreams is a really great um, game to do animations in. It's not easy, let me just say, but once you get the hang of it, um, if you are keen on animation, then you there's no stopping you and you'll be making little animated shots in no time at all. So let's play this. I'm going gonna, gonna to play a little bit of it. I don't want to play the whole thing. I would like you to go into the Dreamiverse and play it for yourself. So, um, and thumb it up because only 31 thumbs up. This is a travesty. Let's play this. I'm telling you, I don't think he's real. What you mean he ain't real? I mean what I said, Vince. I don't think he's real. You ain't got two eyes in your head? We're looking at him right now. Going on about he ain't real. It's crazy talk. Nah, you're not understanding me, man. I know he's real. Like, yeah, there's a physicality there, but I don't think he's alive. Okay, smart guy. Then what happened to Ralph last week then? Okay, that's actually a good example of what I'm talking about. Think back, man. When Ralph, may he rest in peace, when Ralph got blasted, do you remember old green shirt here pulling the trigger? Because I seem to remember it was the other guy. You know, the one with the smooth face. Oh, for the love of... You've lost it, you know that? That's it. I'm going to prove it. What? what? Wait, what are you doing, man? Oh, I'll leave it there. So that was Crops. Um, it's a fun little little animated short. Um, I really enjoyed that. I think it's uh, it's one of the, one of the few um, animated shorts in, in Dreams that's not um, not a meme. <laughs> I, I know a lot of you like memes but um, I don't know. I'm getting I'm getting memed out. There's too, too many memes in Dreams. Right, on to the games then. QB by Temporary Name. That's got 530 thumbs up and an MM pick. So this is doing really well. Um, let's reset progress. Um, I play a game called Death Squared and I have a feeling that this has been inspired by that game. Uh, it has the same game mechanic in that you control two cubes. One with the left stick and one with the right stick. Uh, but they've, they've got this really, really right with the um, progression. Of difficulty um, so as a tutorial you don't need to be reading a lot of tutorial stuff you can just play this as a tutorial and it really works well so you pick it up like that pop it down off we go there we go and then we can both get in the So we'll move him onto there, and he can pick up. Whoops! I got I stood on it. Come on, pick it up. Oh, oh he's got it. Oh, I dropped it. Oh, I've, I've, oh, and then I've fallen off. <laughs> so you got to concentrate. Hey, killed myself. Right. Where's my guy? There he is. Right, let's try that again. Oh my god. Now, last time I played this, I did this absolutely perfectly. You will not believe this. It was just... I made it look so easy. Oh no, that's not right, is it? Let's go, let's go. Oh dear me. There we go. Long one. Okay, door open. And away he goes. Whoops. They get harder and harder. We've got a spinny one here. I'll leave it there so you can enjoy these puzzles yourself. Um, there's only ten puzzles in the whole game. Uh, but it's a nice, nice little puzzle game if you like puzzle games. Uh, ten levels. 
I think it's really good. Zombie War Z next. Another one from Chris three five four five five four three. Um, it's uh, attacking people with a crowbar. <laughs> but I, what I like about this is the the voices that they've got. It says attention, zombie slayers. Here are the controls. So you can play this in VR, or you can play it with a DS4. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, I am ready to kill zombies. Follow me. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna follow you. I love this. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's the best bit. Just him saying hello. Very good. Oh yeah, very good. Yeah. This is the best tutorial hello. ever. Hello. Hello. Oh, wait, we got to break these. Very good. Oh no. Oh, zombies. Kill the zombies. Ah! Oh no. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, they're gone. They're, me. they're gone as. Oh, wait, what does he want me to do now? I've got to follow him. Hello! Open the chest to get a building hammer. Hello! Very good! I'm sorry! Oh, okay, I've got a hammer. Very good! I just. Destroying it. What have I got to do? Oh, hang on, away. Put down a fence. Let's, let's just put this fence down. Alright, I've put a fence. Put a fence in. Right, let's go back to the crowbar. Right, what do you want us to do? Right, I've accidentally put a fence. Thank you. You're probably hurt from the zombies. Here, follow me. We'll get you patched up. Thank you. Oh, okay. Hello. Here are some scraps. Buy a medikit for me. Hello. Oh, there we go. That seems like the basics. So here's the deal. I'm sorry. Our outpost caved in and now we're stuck here. Hello. I'll show you the damage. Follow me. Oh, he's backing up. <laughs> Here's the damage. Right. Hello. Maybe some people around camp have a solution. Hello. Could you ask around and see what we can do to remove it? Thank you. Y yeah, okay, thank you. Hello. <laughs> they all sound the same. <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't say I need explosives, but... I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, there's some dynamite somewhere. Okay. Oh, it's over there, apparently. Let's go find it. This is extremely well done. Um, lots of really good game mechanics in here. Oh, there's zombies. I love this. Right, okay. Let's find the dynamite cache. I presume it's through here. There it is. Um, oh, God. Zombie! Ah! Ah! Oh no! Oh no! What's hitting me? Oh my god, he's a crawler! Ah! Get, get, get off! Get off! Get off! Right, okay. <laughs> it feels wrong to be hitting. hitting a, a, a box full of dynamite. Have I, have I picked up the dynamite? Let's have a look. Medikit. No, no, I don't know what happened there. Did I pick it up? Let's just assume I did. Let's get some scraps. Right. There's another zombie there. Oh, I've got it. It's gone blue, so presumably I've just got to take it back to the guy. Right, let's do that, and then we'll go to another game. This is very cool. Uh, did you find it? I thought I did. Yeah, I think I did. Oh, obviously not. I didn't do it right. Anyway. Anyway, there we go. 
zombie war i think that's a lot of fun go go play that it's only got 50 thumbs up let's get that likes right up next one candy climb work in progress uh beard of cats 88 should you rush your way to the top of this tasty tower new dreamer who loves feedback so this is a new guy um let's play his game so it's a platformer uh it's candy themed there we go i think he got me anyway let's jump over the chocolate Ah, that one didn't get me. I pinched him. Right. I like... Oh, doll. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. I don't know why I fell off there. Sometimes the, the 3D-ness, you have to walk towards the camera. Do double jump. Oh, look, his head gets big. Oh! I'm back at the beginning again. Damn it. Okay. Woo. That's a really good checkpoint. I like that. Oh, nearly missed that one. Onto the chocolate. Duck, it says. Quack. Oh, look, it splats. It splats down. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Now, I've done this before where I wasn't far enough over. I didn't get it. Punch him. Right, now. Last time I got to this, I just fell down. I think I got a run. Yay! I've got over. Yeah! Gummy bear! Have I got to jump over it? Yeah, I think so. Whoa! Oh, no! <laughs> jump over the gummy bear. Let's try this again. Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, no, no. I got got by the gingerbread man. Anyway, it's very good. It's very innovative. If you like platformers, try that one. It's only got 27 thumbs up. Let's, let's see if we can get that up a little bit more. So this entire collection is available in the Dreamverse. Just look for pick of the week. Um, I've got all of last year's, all of this year's, all in one collection. So check that one out. Um, and you can you don't have to hunt these things down by yourself. You can just come in and find this collection. Right, your hell by Heike Oni. Um, I'm going to... Uh, I'm not going to reset progress because I've got quite far with it. It's a very spooky game. It is subtitled. Um, But it is, it is a little on the violent side. If we come in here, um, it's like, what is going on here? It's just, you are in hell, I believe. And, uh, oh my God, violence. Oh, that's, oh my God. He just throws his head. Okay, I don't think we want to go over there. Yeah, let's, let's just come out of here, I think. Oh, no, they're screaming and... St uh, okay, that's not good. Let's go. <laughs> let's come out of this theatre because that's just scary stuff. Can we get out? Oh, no, we're trapped in here. <gasps> oh, no, we're trapped inside. Okay. Um, where do we go? It's uh, the rest the, to get to this point. Um, there's a lot of uh, talking to people on the phone and trying to work out what's gone on. It's quite evolved, actually. There's like a lot in in, in this. 
It appears to have like uh, quite a strong story element as well. So um, uh, I think this is this is pretty cool. I feel that I should be doing something like lifting these up. I'm worried that there might be heads underneath or something. <gasps> no. Where is the demon? I can hear footsteps and things, but I don't know where he is. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm going to be killed. Maybe I have to go down. Whoa! Oh, that could have been bad. Maybe I have to go onto the stage and check out these people. Let's have a look. Oh my goodness, that's really unpleasant. Um, yeah, that's not good, is it? Can we can we escape out backstage? No. Oh my god, I appear to be trapped inside with this demon. I don't even know where he is. I can hear him. He's about somewhere. Is he through this door? Okay. Uh oh. Oh, there he is. Oh my god. Uh. Open the door and. Oh no, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Oh, he's got his. He's walked away again. Okay, let's, let's go in here. What's in here? Oh. Toilet. It's not, a, it's not a place to escape. What about this? It's, it's, it's a load of boxes. Maybe if you won't see me, if I just stay over here a bit. Oh my God. It's a living room with whatever these are. Hmm. Um, right, maybe we need to go through one of these doors. Oh, what's this? Oh. This is so creepy. Oh, we're back out into the theatre. Wish I knew what I needed to do here. What is that? Oh my god. Let's just come out. <laughs> right. It's in French. Um, but it has subtitles in English. So you can enjoy it even if you don't know French. Um, but it's... In fact, the French um, voiceover and everything just, just adds to it. I mean, we didn't see any of the um, the voiceover bits in, in that clip that I just showed. But um, earlier on when they were all talking in French, it sort of, sort of added to it somehow. Um, let's check that one out. Right, Sword and Arrow next by Paolo Lameris. Um, it's a real-time strategy game. You've got a choice of playing it um, as a strategy. I like the indent. It's very cool. Look at that. Sword and Arrow. Strategy or action? Build your army, explore the region, and destroy the enemy castle. Or you get all of the all of the um, army straight up, and um, you get set. So let's start with strategy, shall we? Finally settled. We should prepare more men and explore the region. Watch out for the attacks from the east. Find the source of our enemy. Right. So, you can select unit, action, build an army, explore the region, destroy the enemy castle. Right. Okay. So, what we got here? Swordman. Select. Yes. Oh, I've selected all my swordmen. Let's go over here. This is incredibly impressive for a Dreams game. I, um, look at that. There we go. Let's, let's go here. Okay. Right. 
very cool. Um, so, what's this? We can... Tell me yes. ready, sir. We oh, made... We, well, okay, well, wait, I don't know what I've done. Let's... We don't want to move too okay. far away, do we? Because we... There's a lot involved in it. If you like strategy games, you might um, know more about and you've played lots of them. Sir? Uh-oh. I found some enemy soldiers. Yes. There we are. This is very, very uh -huh. cool. Oh, enemy spider. <laughs> oh, he's, he's on his own. That's not good. Okay. Let's all go in into that. There we are. This is just brilliant. Um, it is so involved. There's so much going on here. So much to see. It says retro mode. Just makes it just a little bit more pixelated. I don't know why you do that. Um, <laughs> uh, it's just amazing. This I. I'm going to kill all my soldiers. I know I am because I'm I'm being a little bit the castle's yes. under attack. Where from? Oh, this guy. Yes. Well, let's let's sort you out, mate. Yay, we killed him. Brilliant. So there's obviously a way of um buying more um soldiers and things and building up your army. But um so much to do here. It says L2 and R2 to upload score and quit. So let's try that. L2 and R2 together. Defeat, it says. Scored 285. So there we are. Sword and arrow. It's got 151 thumbs up at the moment. Um, I think that should do better. It's not an MM pick or anything. I don't know what's going on with Media Molecule, why they're not picking these things. But anyway, there we are. Uh, Space Pirate, Monster of the Silent Sea next. Um, let's reset progress on that by Billy Cultist. It's, it's his first actual game. So let's check out. All right, Nace. What's the good news? We have orbit over V5. No signs of any system activity. Looks like we beat the Valor Boys. Any uh, surface activity? Got a standard SOS beacon going steady from our little stranded science team. Vitals? Negative. Good. If I'm lucky, they're all dead. I fed beacon coordinates into the pod. Should put you right down on top of their crash site. Right. One total calm dark after launch. Give me one hour window. Pick up crazies in the system. Take them in. Copy. Watch your back down there, Captain. Swamp Kings don't parlay. It's like the animation on that was really a top. Look at this planet! <laughs> Aim, it's so cinematic. They really. They've really thought about this. And then you're in. I've got a light. Look at that. Look at this! Isn't this fantastic? I love this. This is so innovative and creative. And. Ah, I love it. We've got to look for data fragments. We're close to it. There we go. Data fragment retrieved. I mean, this is really atmospheric. I love this. And for a first game, it says it's their, their first game. I mean, you know. I've picked up some rum. The Delza, I'm not 100% sure 
how it's telling me. Oh, there we go. There's another one. I've got to find five of these. It's a big swamp. What is that over there? That looks like a ship or something. Oh, I've retrieved some more booze. Oh my god, what's that? <laughs> oh my god. Um. Oh dear. I got killed by a thing in the dark that I didn't even get a chance to see. <laughs> it's like, oh no. <laughs> oh, now I've got to start from the beginning. So it's very unforgiving if you make a mistake. Let's get his gun out. <laughs> And we'll not make that mistake again. Right. Okay, we've got the data fragment. Are we going the same way? I don't even know where we are. We were heading towards that blue light over there, weren't we? What? 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 The, oh my god, I forgot to put my light on. Ah! I'm dead. Again. Anyway, fantastic game. Uh, play that. Space Pirate, Monsters of the Silent Sea. Right. Darts Now by Noobkus. It's the first darts game with aim imping control. I don't know whether it is or it isn't, but anyway, let's reset progress on this. It's a game of darts. Um, this is, you've got to go around the board, so um, we can pick some music. Let's pick pirate music, shall we, as it's talk like a pirate day or something similar. Right. So you need to be in here. Let's skip the tutorial. Right. So, uh, there we go. One, two, three, four, all missed. Four, five, six, seven, eight, no, there, nine. Oh, that looked like it was in. Yes, it is in. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Sometimes it, it says you've got it in, even when I think you missed. <laughs> so it's not overly accurate, but it's quite fun to play. There we go, eighteen. 19, 20, there we go, 40 seconds I did it in, um, it's a really simple little dark game but I thought it was well executed and um, for a very brief period of time I was on the scoreboard, eh, yesterday look, there we are, 38.73 seconds. <laughs> I'm third. You can beat me. That is a, not a great score. So go in and, and see if you can uh, beat my um, high score. Get to more than um, 38 seconds. Um, I'm sure you can. Just with a little bit of practice. There we go. Can you make it round the world in under 30 seconds? Well, clearly not. I didn't quite manage it. But, uh, it's only got 19 thumbs up. It's a nice little game. Go check that one out. Right, other than that thing with the marbles in it. Now, if I go to Matney's game thing here, um, they have made Tin Toy Valley, and uh, they're currently making this domino game. And it says that you can um, make more of the marble runs. You've got the Domino Republic here. K24, you'll set them up, knock them down these. So I was sent this and I was like, I don't know what this is. But what this is, 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 is a lot of uh, dominoes in racks. So you can make your own uh, domino tumbling game. Uh, and then you go into this. And this is the sort of thing you can make with it. So we'll start the machine. And it picks up the ball. And we're off. And I 
think that's coming down that silver bit. There it goes. So apparently he's built is a kit for you to make your own version of this. I think it's based on the 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 game from the um, 80s and 90s where you got to make your own marble and domino runs. There we go. Dum, 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 dum. It's quite satisfying to watch. I think it'd be even more satisfying if you set it up yourself. What's good about this one is it sets these rockets off at the end. Very satisfying. Oosh. There we go. Yep, remixable kits, it says. Search for Matney Under Dreamers. And uh, it can make you can make your own little domino kits. I like it. I like it. I like the idea of it. So uh, here's another one. Here's a marble marble parts. So you go to remix here, and you can see there's all these little parts that you can you can use and remix, and make your own runs. I think it'd be better if you made it as a kit kit. Actually, if you made it as a collection of individual parts, that would be better than what he's done here. But um, the idea is the idea is good anyway so you make your own which is nice right here is another portrait by Indivi artist this is of Alex Evans who uh, sadly has left Media Molecule um, found a member of Media Molecule I think he was the one that picked the name um, but there we are there he is I don't know how flattering that is but um, <laughs> It certainly does look like him. Sorry, Alex. Um, so there we are. Uh, Nivy does some, some great artwork. Um, and um, the community um, led by uh, Dorian has done this. Uh, so sort of thank you to Alex. Um, lots of messages of support from um, Dreamers saying thank you to Alex for all he's done. Um, I hope he, he uh, likes this. So you can... Um, I don't know what a plinky board is. I was asked to do a message for it and I did a message for it. Mine is there. But I don't know what you're supposed to... It's like... It play the buttons and then you can... Toggle, adjust, hover the adjuster. It's like reverb. So if I... Hi, Lady Lex UK here. I'd just like to thank Alex for all the hard work he's put in over the years with Little Big Planet and Dreams, two of my favourite things. And we've had some fantastic time doing what we're going to do. So you can change. Sorry, we're all leaving us, Alex. Let me say something. This is supposed to be a private lawyer. You can fiddle about with this. Hey, bit. this is Saki. Um, I just quickly wanted to delay on, and you can fiddle about with all of them. So you can play about with um, all of these messages. I have absolutely no idea what this is or what this does, but um, you can fiddle about with the messages and, and, and hear them in all sorts of weird and wonderful ways. Um, it's the sort of thing I think Alex would have really, really liked. So I hope he likes this. I'm sure he does. I'm sure he appreciates it. Um, I'm sure he teared up a bit. I would have done. If somebody had made this for me, I'd be like, oh my God. But uh, there we are. It's a fascinating um, idea. But like I say, plinky means nothing to me. <laughs> I don't know what that is. But there we are. That's what the community has done for uh, for Alex to say thank you and goodbye and that's it i just gonna say thank you and goodbye so that's it for this week um that's my selection um please send me your um your things it doesn't have to be yours it can be other people's things that i might miss uh things that are in the dream reverse that you think are worth promoting a bit um dream to have meanings is currently um doing a promotion of uh dreamer levels um, is asking people to pick three levels that they think are um, underplayed. Um, 
I wasn't quite sure what to do, so um, this week I I just picked three out of uh, my pick of the week selection. So I picked uh, the Scout ACV by Ramki Banazuka, and I picked uh, Sword and Arrow by Paolo Lemiris, and I picked Space Pirate Monsters of the Silent Sea uh, as my three picks for this week. So. Um, that's what I'm going to do going forward. So I'm going to pick three out of my pick of the week selection um, in the hope that it gives it a chance for, for these things to become prominent in the current feeds because picking uh, games from uh, older games, um, even though if they get more likes, they're not going to suddenly appear on any of the feeds that Media Molecule provides. So I'm just, I'd like to be able to get the, the games that are current a little bit more visible that might help them um, gain a bit more notoriety so uh, that's that's my choice anyway so there we go thanks for watching and I'll catch you in your dreams <laughs>